hello, I, uh, I'm Fabio Bell, a statistical uh, we, we search on developer for the audience of company which develops uh, Excel stats software. My co-author are David Giacalone from the University of Southern Denmark, Sarah Jaeger from Plant and Food Research and El Mustafa Canary from Oniris. Um, the topic of my talk is to answer the following que question. Uh, are there differences in perception between two groups of subjects? Uh, in the case of Czechoslovak by da data. So uh, as an introduction, uh, I remind you that Czechoslovak is a simple task where the subjects just have to check uh, the attributes that apply to each of the products. So for a subject, we have um, a binary da data set with a one if the product has been is the attribute has been checked for the corresponding pro product on zero if not, and all in all we have uh, m data set uh, as many da data set as subjects uh, on the same pro product and on the same attributes. So. Um, the the aim is to answer that uh, uh, are there differences in perception between two groups of subjects, two predefined groups of subjects, um, for example, uh, do men and women per, per, per perceive the product uh, in the same way uh, or not? Uh, I have to start by a background uh, with some tools, since uh, you have to understand these tools. Be, before um, I uh, present the test. Uh, so um, the similarity between two subjects uh, is defined here by the OKI coefficient, uh, which is based on the number of common checks. And more generally, um, with two da data sets, the OKI coefficient uh, is uh, simply the cosine between the, these two da data sets, so the scalar pro product divided by the two flow Benius norm. We proposed uh, two years ago the catatis method, um, and the aim of this method is to build the compromise which reflects uh, as, as most as possible uh, all the subject da data sets. So, uh, this, this method tends to minimize the criterion uh, which is given by the sum of the distance between each su su subject data sets on the compromise with some weight uh, for each of the data sets. So the cat method uh, start by st standardize each of the data sets since the subject have different uh, number of checks. Uh, but this can be achieved by the Frobenius norm. Um, we compute the metrics of the of the OKI co co uh, coefficient uh, in order to extract the first eigenvector, which is useful to compute the compromise since um, the compromise is a weighted sum of the subject da data sets and. Uh, a subject in agreement with the panel will will uh, have a highway, um, and contrarywise, um, uh, a subject not in agreement we, we will be down down weighted. And the final step is to apply a correspondence analysis on the compromise in order to have a map with the products and the attributes. So this method is clearly derived from the status method and uh, can be seen uh, as an adaptation of the status method for the checkers that apply day, day uh, time. So I uh, will intro introduce um, the test. So I remind that uh, we consider two predefined groups of subjects and we want to know if the perception between the two groups of subjects uh, is different or not. So the first step is to compute the compromise of each of the two groups, which, which is achieved by the catatis method. After we compute the similarity 
between the two, compuma, the two compromises. So the similarity is given by the OKI co coefficient. And uh, this similarity is our observed value. value. And for a large number of permutations, for example, 1,000, we will normally permute the subject in two groups by keeping their sizes in change. So some subjects in group A going group B and the same number of group B going group A. We compute the compromises of the two new groups by the catatis method. And finally, we compute the similarity between these two compromises. So this similarity um, will be Will, will be high since we have no st st structure of the subject. And so we, we can com compare uh, the observed similarity and the, the similarity, the similarities obtained after pair, pair mutations. And we can build a pseudo p value, which is given by the proportion of similarities obtained after pair, pair mutation between the compromises and the observed similarities between the two com compromises. And this test is clearly inspired by my uh, paper of my, Michael May, May, Mayners, uh, which propose um, to know if there is difference of perception in case of li liking data. And he proposed, he, he proposed to use um, the status method uh, to compute the compromises and uh, the RV co coefficient between uh, the compromises as similarity index. So since we have make um, so we have ma make an adaptation of this test thanks to the catatis method and the OKI co coefficient. As an illustration, uh, we consider a Czechoslovak da data set with nine B B range, 30 conceptual attributes, and 600 of Swiss su subjects. And in fact, the groups are based on food ne neophobia, which is a fear of trying new food. So we have subject in low food neophobia case, me middle food neophobia, and high food ne neophobia. Um, the results of the test between subject low phonophobia and middle phonophobia clearly not uh, reject the fact that the, the perception uh, between the two groups of, of subject is similar. Contrary to uh, the test between the subject in low phonophobia uh, and high phonophobia. And the Another way to see uh, to see the results is uh, is to look at the pseudo p, uh, p value of the test, and uh, for uh, for example, we, we we can see also that the subject uh, middle phonophobia case and high high phonophobia have a significant d, uh, d difference here. The last step is to look at the catatis graph. The catatis graph are simply uh, the correspondence uh, analysis with the two first dimension um, of the compromise of the two groups. So we have the subject in low phonophobia and high phonophobia. The, the test they, they has detected a difference. So we can see, for example, uh, the uh, the energy drink is associated with ir irritating and arrogant by the subject in low phonophobia case, which is not the the, the case for subject in with high phonophobia. And the test is simply is, is simply an alert. So okay, there there is a difference of perception. And after by inspecting uh, these graphs, so you the user. Can, uh, can determine if this difference is interesting for him or not. As a conclusion, 
So we propose the permutation test to determine whether the two groups of subjects from Czechoslovakia data have a difference in perception or not. Clear, clearly based on an idea of my Michael Mayners, which are pr pr proposed to use the RV coefficient on status compromises, but the, this was in the case of li, li, liking day, data, so quantitative blocks. We have adap adapted this idea thanks to the catalyst me method on the OKI co coefficient. If the test indicates a significant difference, a comparison of the catalyst graph can be done to highlight these differences and the you, you, you user can see if this difference is interesting or not. As a perspective, um, it would be interesting to propose the same test for differences of data, so just about right. And we add um, this, uh, fun this function in uh, our air package, which is class block, and it will be soon in the XSTAT software. Thanks for your attention. Okay, thank you, Fabien, for your talk. Uh, we've got plenty of time for uh, many questions. <laughs> Sorry, I do so. So, <laughs> <laughs> so don't hesitate to uh, to go uh, and ask a question to Fabien. In the meanwhile, maybe I can ask a question about uh, did you test this method on other product category? Because here you, you work on a nine beverage, uh, very different uh, beverage. And do you think that this method could be uh, also adapt adapted for um, more um, closer product in the same product category and to differentiate uh, men and women, for example? Uh, yes, uh, um, uh, we saw Ye 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 she sent me uh, some data sets and I, I tried uh, on all the data sets with a lot of categories and uh, and uh, yes, this test uh, uh, often show uh, some re results. Uh, she uh, she wait, so um, she would. Uh, it it would be okay. The the results um, uh, were okay for uh, for uh, her. Okay. So it could work uh, in a specific product category and very uh, homogeneous product uh, category. And um, did you try another coefficient maybe for uh, instead of OK uh, to compare uh, subjects or is it the only one that is? The, in fact, the OK co coefficient is di directly given by uh, uh, the minimization criterion of the catalyst method. It's clearly the equivalent of uh, RV uh, in this case. Uh, we we have exact, exactly the same properties we, as a status, thanks to this coefficient. So uh, uh, after to to see the similarity B be, between the compromises, we 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 can try another uh coefficient co but not uh to bridge the compromises okay thank you